What's up guys, Charlie here with MA Performance and today we're gonna be talking all about our top five best-selling catback exhausts for the Subaru BRZ, the Scion FRS, and of course, the Toyota GT86. Now, though we've named three different cars, most of you know that they're pretty much one in the same, with the exception of a few badges and some very small details that make each one of them unique in their own ways. Now, with having the exact same engine and transmission combo in all three, it has become super easy for companies to back aftermarket support on this platform since day one. Now, one of the first mods that everybody goes to with the car itself is the exhaust system. The FA20 has a pretty sick rumble and obviously the exhaust system just helps to show it off. It sounds good, dude. Now, one thing that a lot of people may not know is that an exhaust actually works as sort of a horsepower multiplier. And so with that being said, how much horsepower will this exhaust add to my car is one of the most commonly asked questions that we get around here. So with this lineup of exhaust for this car or any car, if your car is pushing close to factory horsepower numbers, the gains that you could expect to see with any of these exhausts is in that five to 10 horsepower range. However, if you are doubling the numbers from the factory, then the horsepower gains you would expect to see would be significantly more. Now, just so you know, we're not giving you any of these exhausts in any specific order, but make sure that you stick around to the end because they're each unique in their own way and sound amazing in my opinion. So let's get right into it. All right, you guys, the first one on our list is the NVIDIA N1 Catback. Now this one is a catback made of 304 stainless steel and it comes in at a price of $688.57. Now the main takeaways on this one for me were that it deepens the factory tone while adding a little bit of volume. Now it's super clean sound and a really great look, has zero drone and it pairs well with headers and even with that modification it sounds great too. Overall the pros and cons are that it has a great sound minimal drone and a clean dual exhaust look. Cons to this would be that it's obviously really popular because it is such a great option, but without further delay, let's jump on in and hear how it sounds, shall we? Okay, it sounds pretty good at startup. It's not like super loud, which I like. I don't know how to necessarily refer to it other than the fact that it sounds really mature until he gets up into like a higher RPM range and then it sounds a bit louder. It's not super loud, but you can tell when he's accelerating and it gets up into the higher RPM ranges that it's, it's making all the noises that you'd want to hear. Yeah, I mean, again, I, like a like an aged cheddar. This one, this one sounds mature. All right, you guys. Next one on the list is the Tomei Extreme Titanium Type 80 Catback Exhaust. This one obviously being weight as a big factor in this one as to why you'd buy it. It comes in at only 16.9 pounds. Incredibly light for a catback exhaust. Not to mention, it's obviously made of titanium. That's why it's so light. On top of that, it's coming in at a price of 981. So it is a little bit more expensive than the last one, but not necessarily so expensive that it's gonna break the bank where, you know, most catback exhausts that you see come in at around that $1,200 price point or right around a thousand bucks for most of the platforms we see today. All right, so pros and cons of this catback are gonna be that for one, it's super loud and very aggressive. Obviously, another one is that it's super light. It's very lightweight, so if you're a track person, great for you. Obviously, it sounds super clean and it has a good quality sound without being necessarily too loud. As far as the cons go is, well, feedback has said that obviously there's a little bit of highway drone. Some people do complain that it is absolutely way too loud and in fact, 
is just necessarily obnoxious. So now the key takeaways on this is that you install this exhaust when you want everybody to hear your BRZ, FRS or GT86. And this exhaust is big, it's shiny and it's loud. This is the exhaust that pairs very well with a loud Motley Crue song when you're cruising down the highway. Otherwise, let's jump in and check out how this one sounds. I can't wait to hear it. Pretty sure I've heard it before though. So like it sounds super loud. Like the mic on the GoPros sounds like it's being blown out on this one from the exhaust itself. It gets a little bit more aggressive in the upper RPM ranges when you're really getting on it. Outside of that, I think it's a really phenomenal catback. Tomei is obviously really popular for a reason. It's loud, but it gives you all the sounds you'd come to expect from a really loud performance import vehicle. So you get what you want. The next one on the list is from your very own us here at MA Performance, but some of you refer to us as Map Performance. Where does that even come from? It's like an ATM machine. The M stands for machine, just like the P stands for performance. It's MA Performance, not Map Performance. But anyway, so we're gonna go ahead and get into it. The next one on the list here is our MA Performance stainless steel catback exhaust made of 304 stainless steel, coming in at a price of $839.99. The key takeaways with this exhaust is that it's everything that you've been looking for when looking to get a high quality stainless steel exhaust with a medium to medium loud sound. Now it's super clean, got a four inch angle cut stainless steel exhaust tips. The pros and cons when it comes to this exhaust overall are that it has a high quality sound. It's super, super easy to install with V-bands, great hardware, and it has great four inch dual tip exit exhaust. Now. The only feedback that we've ever gotten in regards to this as kind of a con would be that it's maybe not quite loud enough for some folks, but again, that's maybe in comparison to something like the Tomei exhaust, which is insanely loud by design. But anyways, I'm gonna pull up a clip. I'm gonna see how it sounds, not gonna lie. I actually don't think I've actually heard this exhaust before. I really like how it sounds at idle. smooth out after about 40 seconds, okay. Still sounds really great. All right, under gentle acceleration. Oh man. Dude, that sounds great. driving by you can hear it in the background has a bit of, a bit of a lower tone to it okay so I, in my opinion this one sounds absolutely amazing um, I'm obviously biased to it because we made it but I think it has the perfect exhaust tone with just enough of that like gargling noise that you'd want to get from like a really aggressive sounding catback or like car itself. All right, so the next one on the list is the HKS high power exhaust. This one's coming in at a weight of 25 and a half pounds made of stainless steel and a price of $514.99. Main takeaways are that it's probably the most affordable exhaust on the lineup. It's a great looking single exit exhaust, roughly 15 pounds lighter than stock, and it's loud, but only when you really want it to be, which is always nice. It comes with blue burnt tip attachment that cleans up the look and has a few inches of adjustability to have a more of a blast pipe or clean look. Now the pros and cons to this overall are gonna be that it's an aggressive sound when you want it to be. You're not stuck with it. It's a great build quality, great looks, and it's very clean with a sharp sound. Now, cons would be it's a single exit exhaust if you like the dual tip exhaust. And uh, I happen to love most, almost all HKS products I end up coming across. So uh, I'm sure I'm gonna love this one too, but let's jump in and check it out for ourselves. First startup. 
Oh, yeah. This one sounds really good. Like, really good. I like the sound of this one a lot. Okay, now he's revving it up. That sounds good. Now, I don't know if it's like still necessarily a thing. I haven't looked into this one, but the only problem I have with HKS exhausts is that it's so hard to usually get them. They're not very available, right? Unless you talk to your friends at MA Performance. But let's move on to the fifth one on the list. Let's go ahead and check out the ARK Grip Stainless Steel Catback Exhaust. This one is a 304 stainless steel catback exhaust. It is the most expensive one on the list at 1709. Now, takeaways of this is that, again, it's the most expensive one. ARK is known for their quality and superb craftsmanship, and we put it on our Q60 and absolutely love the clean sound it provides when giving your car a little bit more of that bark. There's no rasp and the blue burnt tips are looking gas. So let's jump into the pros and cons. One, amazing tone. Two, great build quality. Three, no rasp and it has an amazing cold start sound. I can't wait to show you. And the cons are that it's obviously a little bit higher priced and for a lot of folks, they believe it's possibly a little bit too quiet. But let's go in and formulate our own opinions because we're free thinking individuals and we like to tell ourselves what we think about Catbacks exhaust and we don't get advice from people on the internet unless they provide unbiased reviews like ours here today, am I right? I didn't just say mine was my favorite because I'm biased to it, did I? It looks almost identical to, <laughs> to the one we put on our Q60. What do you know? Okay. Yeah, I mean, I see what people mean about it possibly being a little bit too quiet, but it does sound really good. The exhaust note on this one really does change after it warms up a bit. It sounds really good when she revs it up, I'm not gonna lie. It has a really nice sound to it, in my opinion. I really like the sound it's actually making. Uh, looks wise, I think it looks phenomenal. It sounds great so far. I wanna hear a drive-by if she does one. I mean, it sounds like there would be little to no drone whatsoever with this exhaust. Deeper sound, really high quality. You can hear it with the windows up and it's still not necessarily overpowering. So, I mean, you could easily like have a conversation with somebody. I mean, uh, this one seems like it's gonna be the best of everything. Again, with the exception of it being possibly a little bit too quiet if you were looking for something really loud. Again, it might not fit that criteria, but everything else for me, it's totally a home run on. Um, I love this one. If money wasn't a problem and I was looking to spend 1700 bucks on an exhaust for my BRZ, I mean, this would obviously be my pick. Um, if you were looking to be a little bit more budget conscious, the HKS one is a phenomenal option. I'm actually shocked that that is as cheap as it is. Uh, and then obviously, I think that ours is a perfect middle ground between an affordable catback exhaust with a great sound. Ours has the dual tips, so I think that's a little bit unique in terms of uh, what at least out of the ones I typically like. I typically go for the single exit ones on these cars. But with that being said, that's gonna be the end of the top five for this video. If you guys are interested in more content like this, please let us know in the comments down below. Give us a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And if you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell notification so you don't miss a single upload. If you want us to do the top something or other, however many turbo kits for the BRZ, you already know we're gonna do the intakes one, but let us know down in the comments below. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next video. Until next time, peace.